is a, a book and a film set in this location. I'm just going to read um, a point in the book where they, they start talking about um, this magical, mystical Just the slightest curve of yellow shimmered over the sea. A slight breeze picked up, sending a few loose wristlets skimming along the sand. With the breeze came the smell of cooking lemongrass and fried shellfish from the restaurant behind us. I'm hungry, I muttered. Smells good, huh? said Zepf. I could do with a big plate of chicken noodles. Or dog noodles, said Sammy. He turned to Francois. We had dog noodles in Chiang Mai. Tasted like chicken. All those things, dog, lizard, frog, snake, they always taste like chicken. How about rat, I asked. Uh -uh, rat too distinctly chicken-like. Zeph picked up a handful of sand and let it run through his fingers, trailing patterns between his legs. Then he coughed, almost in a formal way, as if he wanted everyone to pay attention. Hey, he said, do you know about Kentucky Fried Rat? I frowned. It sounded like another wind-up, and I felt that Tien was going to fall for it in the same kind of way I might start crying. I had still had a picture in my head of his concerned face as he explained about his little red bike. No, what is it? I said warily. Warily. It's one of those stories that, I, that gets around. Urban myths, said Sammy. Someone got a small bone stuck in their throat. Then they got it analyzed and it was a rat bone. Yeah. And the person it happened to was a friend's aunt's cousin. It never happened to the person you're talking to. Oh, I said, I know. Right, so there's a Kentucky Fried Rat doing the rounds at the moment. You heard it. I shook my head. About a beach. This amazing beach hidden somewhere, but no one else knows where it is. I turned my head away. Down by the sea, a Thai boy was playing with a piece of coconut husk, keeping it in the air, using his knees and the sides of his feet. He timed a flick badly, and the husk flew into the water. For a few moments, he stood there with his hands on his hips, perhaps wondering if it was worth getting wet to retrieve it. Then he started jogging up the sand towards that guest house. No, I said, I haven't heard about that. Fill us in. Okay, said Seth. I'll paint you a picture. He lay back on the sand. Close your eyes. 
doesn't think about a lagoon. Think about a lagoon hidden from the sea and passing boats by a high curving wall of rock. Then imagine white sands and coral gardens never damaged by dynamite fishing or trolling nets. Fresh waterfalls scattered the island surrounded by jungle. Not the forests of inland Thailand, but jungle. Canopies three levels deep. Plants untouched for thousands of years. Strangely colored birds and monkeys in the trees. On the white sands, fishing in the coral gardens, a select community of travelers pass the months. They leave if they want to, they return, the beach never changes. Select, I ask quietly, as if talking through a dream. Zeph's vision had entirely consumed me. Select, he replied. Word of mouth passes on the location to a lucky few. It's paradise, Sammy murmured. It's Eden. Eden, Zeph agreed. Is how it sounds. Francois was completely thrown by hearing that Sammy and Zeph also knew about the beach. She couldn't have acted more suspicious if she'd tried. She stood up suddenly. Now then, she said dusting sand off her legs. We leave early tomorrow morning for uh, for Ko Farnang. So I think we shall go to bed now. Dian, Richard, come. <sighs> I said, disorientated, as the image of the beach splintered. Francois, it's 7.30 in the evening. We leave early in the morning, she repeated. But I haven't eaten any dinner. I'm starving. So, I think I'll leave it at that. And, um, just talk to you about the location. Um, it is very accurate to how they describe it. It's very unspoiled, the natural beauty of the place, and um, this video that I've put together is um, around that region. Water is absolutely divine, um, to just the right temperature, and um, it's so easy, so easy to get lost in your thoughts there. Everything is so calm, and I haven't felt in that state as long as I can remember since I actually tried um, marijuana it was the same kind of feeling like uh, being in that water and scuba diving all your thoughts slow down and only th the, m the more important thing like everything slow down and you can just, you can actually think about things and seeing what's important and what's not. Uh, it's a great experience that I would love to do again. So, um, thank you for watching this and I hope, uh, I've noticed a lot of people haven't seen the, the beach. It's a great film. And um, you'll immediately want to go to this location after seeing it. And now to relive.
Excellent.